There's a bunch of perk deck types available to the player, but the questions usually come down to a particular comparison, dodge versus armor. In this video, we will try to help you understand which one is better, because there's a lot of factors that contribute to the ultimate answer. In many cases, one could say it's entirely up to the player, although I believe in some situations, armor is better than dodge and vice versa. Before we get into the battle itself, first let's explain how dodge works on its own. Naturally, your dodge value changes depending on your build, but the important thing is understanding what this value means in the first place. 5% dodge does not mean you'll dodge 5% of all bullets during one heist. The same way 75% dodge does not mean you will only get shot by 25% of all bullets fired against you. 5% dodge means that every individual bullet the enemies fire at you will have a 5% chance of not dealing damage. Just like 75% dodge means that every individual bullet will only have 25% chance to deal damage. People are sometimes confused why they don't dodge at least half the bullets directed towards them when running the highest dodge possible. And the answer is very simple, it just does not work like this. Now that we're on the same page, but not intended, let's see which one would emerge victorious on paper during ideal situations. In this case, dodge obviously wins with absolutely no competition. How come? Well, the most ideal situation would imply that even with 1% of dodge, you can dodge every single bullet fired at you during one heist. When we're talking about armor, we mean 2-3 to three shots before your health starts going down, as you can probably already tell, god mode is better than 2 or 3 shots. Unfortunately, or fortunately depending on whom you ask, this is just how it works on paper and couldn't be further from the truth when it comes to in-game application. Lots of people complain about being unlucky with dodge and how they get triple tapped with 75% dodge and believe me, you are not the only one. This happens to all of us. What can work flawlessly on paper doesn't often work like that in this game. This topic could have as many opinions as the number of players who play Payday, but here's what I think about it. You have to find the right balance. Some people worship the idea of not receiving damage, the rest just hate it and say they're always unlucky. I prefer acknowledging it's there, but don't expect to dodge everything. Ultimately, the idea of dodge is dice rolling, but saying it makes no difference isn't fair. As long as you're running a dodge deck, I can guarantee you that you will dodge at the very least 10% of all shots, and that alone can potentially save you multiple times. Switching cover is much easier, more mistakes are forgiven in general. In other words, the game is just easier. Armor is about consistency. It favours patience and allows for some cool drama abuse which in the end can make heists much easier. However, with heavier armor, you're slower, so running from cover to cover in the open is not as easy and not exposing yourself to enemy fire might be a better idea. Waiting for fade is more optimal and that's exactly what I would recommend doing. By low difficulties, we mean normal, hard, very hard and overkill. This one is very one-sided. ICTV gives you a ton of armor and if you take into consideration that by going to cover for a short while, you regenerate it from 0 to 100 in a second or two. Enemies do very little damage to you, so they're simply not breaking through because you're a walking tank. For this category, dodge stands no chance. But not because it's weak, it's simply pointless in comparison. You tank over 10 shots, go back to cover for a second, tank another 10 shots and repeat. And doing objectives is even better because of Die Hard, which makes your armor completely unbreakable. Dodge works fine there, but armor is just much, much better.
The case here is somewhat similar. Enemy units will get you if you're in the open for too long. But then, once again, you have to remember how armor regenerates in this game. So unless there's an entire horde shooting at you, it's not that much of a problem. Their damage may not be so low in general, but we can't forget about Die Hard this time either, and this skill simply does wonders. Doing longer objectives in the open is not as problematic, and ICTV is overall a very good choice. So now, is dodge better here? It kind of still isn't. It certainly has more value, especially against units that deal more damage, but for the aforementioned reasons, armor wins once again unless you're extremely impatient. This time around, the answer is a bit more complex. As everyone knows, Enemy units on this difficulty deal way more damage compared to the rest, and because of that, dodge has infinitely more value as well. Every single bullet there can make a big difference, so not taking damage is very much welcome. But, what if you wanted to take damage? See, fade is extremely important for effective death sentence gameplay, and by taking damage with lots of armor, you extend its duration because you farm drama, which in the end allows you to do objectives with no cops on the map and not taking damage in the first place sounds better than rolling between a yes or no for every shot thrown at you. Does that mean armor wins once again? It does, but it also doesn't. The answer is no longer as one-sided as it depends on a few things, including the heist you're playing. For that battle, Let's go with what is effective the most in the respective categories. So, Hacker versus Armorer. In theory, luck with Hacker is always by your side, since odds of you having dodge lower than 50% is unlikely unless you equip heavy armor. But that's not how the deck is meant to be played. As you already know though, theory in this game doesn't matter too much, and some heists go better, while some go worse. Dodging about 10 shots in a row with this deck is not uncommon, but it doesn't happen every heist either, Overall, when luck is by your side and you happen to dodge 40 or 50% of all bullets, then I think we can say dodge is the winner for this difficulty. Armorer is a fantastic tool for extending fade and is out of this world consistent. But as said before, if you don't get hit in the first place, then its consistency is not needed. If we assume you're having a not so good hacker game and happen to dodge only 20% of all bullets, then armor is perhaps better. So the overall ranking is like this. Relatively high luck dodge is best, armor is second, and relatively low luck dodge is the worst. Judging by this ranking, they're somewhat similar. However, consistent armor is almost never a bad choice, and if you're not in a hurry, it's the most solid option. And yes, I just said almost because there's a situation where dodge is much better and the situation is infinite assault. Hoxton Breakout Day 1 or Beneath the Mountain are great examples because these heists often leave you exposed to at least one side of the map when you're opting for objectives. And now here's the thing, getting triple tapped and dying is a possibility with dodge, but more often than not, you will dodge at least two bullets which in the end makes dodge better because the likelihood of you dodging more is greater. Armor also makes you slower, so after doing the objective, you have to run to cover afterwards and the chances of being shot during that time is not too low. If there's no fade and you're exposed to enemy fire after performing objectives, I think dodge wins with no competition. Don't like the video? Don't subscribe. If you are a subscriber, then unsub and definitely do not check out the videos that are being displayed right now.